potential with my electric home. So you bought an EV, congratulations. And now you're thinking about putting an EV charge in your garage, but you're thinking, how much is that gonna cost? $1,200, $2,500, $10,000? Today we're gonna look at three things that will help you estimate the cost so you don't get sticker shock. Meet our electrician, Jason. He's here to do a site visit to estimate the cost of installing an EV charger. So Jason, what are some of the things you look at to estimate costs? Well, there's about three things we gotta consider. Uh, the proximity of the panel to where the EV charger is desired to be. Uh, how much space is it left in the panel as well as everything uh, related to difficulty of installing the panel. So Jason, what are your th thoughts on this panel here? Uh, well, unfortunately, this panel doesn't have any breaker room whatsoever. Um, so what we're going to have to do is a panel swap. Now, depending on what the customer wants, if they want, say, like a smart panel, a smart panel can up the cost even more, but it actually makes for some pretty cool features. Um, you also have like maybe cost material, um, yeah, permitting process. That total cost is probably going to be upwards of six grand, maybe at the very top, ten. Okay, so if you're having an older panel that doesn't have any spots, you're going to probably expect a bigger bill. Exactly. All right. So Jason, we're at another home. Uh, what do you think about this panel? Well, this panel is actually pretty good. Uh, plenty of room for other breakers to be installed. And that significantly reduces the price. So instead of having to um, do a, a panel swap, we can just use these existing spaces right here, uh, as well as depending on the location of where they want the EV charger. Um, that's pretty much for the cost and labor and all that stuff like that, as well as pulling the wire um, and difficulty of installation. So all those factors, once again, affect the installation. Mm -hmm. But this one, I would guess, I'd say the price was gonna be around 1200. Okay, so if someone has a panel that they can see they have some open slots, they can kind of estimate that their cost is gonna be a little bit lower versus the one that doesn't have any open slots and it's exactly. a little older. Okay, yep. that makes sense. Mm -hmm. All right, so the great thing about, unlike the previous house, where they needed a panel swap because there was no room for any breakers, as well as for the cost material. And if you look at cost material, it's about $10 a linear foot. For this house, uh, they had plenty of breaker room, and there were not as many obstructions, and at the cost of about $10 a linear foot, and they're about 50 feet away to their desired location from the panel. You also factor in the time it takes to install it, the difficulty as well as permitting. So a homeowner should be able to kind of estimate how much their install would cost based on the age of their panel, how far away their panel is from where they want their EV charger and just, you know, labor and... Well, thank you, Jason. So we were able to install this for about $1,600. Now keep in mind the homeowner now can charge their EV for $6 every time they charge, which is about a $40 added cost to their electric bill. When you think about that you're spending about $150 to $200 a month on gas, depending on how many miles you're driving, you're saving a significant amount of money, which means that you're probably going to pay off your EV charger cost in about a year. Now, if you're thinking about electrifying your home or you're wanting to get an EV charger, go to www.myelectrichomes.com. I'm Rachel and this is Jason. Thanks for watching. Take care.